Hello Year 3. So today we're going to have a look at adding lengths. So that means that we're going to use all of the adding skills you've been working on, focusing mainly on column method, and the measuring and length work you've been working on as well. So just to start today off, we're going to have a recap of converting measurements. So these, if you remember, are called part whole models, where we split our whole into parts. With this one, I'm going to split 37 millimetres into centimetres and millimetres. So there are 10 millimetres in one centimetre. So if I count in tens, I'll find out how many whole centimetres. So 10, 20, 30. I've reached 30, three tens, so there are three whole centimetres, and I've got seven millimetres left over. Three centimetres and seven millimetres is the same as 37 millimetres. I'm now going to have a look at this one. 152 centimetres I want to split into metres and centimetres. So I know that there are 100 centimetres in one metre. So that means if I count in hundreds, I will find how many whole metres and how many more centimetres there are. So, a hundred. Ah, I've already got there. One hundred. So, one metre. And I've got 52 more centimetres. So, 152 centimetres is the same as a one metre and 52 centimetres. And that is just to recap that. Because when we are adding lengths, the first thing you need to do is make sure they're all in the same units. Doesn't really matter which one you choose. If you like centimetres, you do it in centimetres. You like metres and centimetres, you do it in metres and centimetres. But they need to all be the same, or you're adding up different things. So, moving on to adding length. So, this is the sort of thing you might, you might need to do and what adding lengths means. So if I'm at home and today I want to go to the park to do some exercise and then go to the supermarket for the time being, supermarket and then go back home. Now I might work out, want to know how far that is for me to walk. So home to the park is a hundred metres and then it's 57 more metres to the supermarket and then 61 more metres from the supermarket for me to get home again. So if I drew this on a long line, okay, and this is not to scale, I've not measured this. Okay, this is just a little picture to show you. If I put it on a long line, that would be going 157 more and 61 more. And it would be the whole of that together. So I need to add them up. And this can also be called the total total distance okay which you may need to know that word it asks you for the total distance it means add them all up see what you've got but we need to know how to add them all up so but the good thing with adding lengths is you can do it exactly the same way we add all the other numbers up and the reason for that does that need to be at the top to see it yeah the reason for that is if we have a look at how many um, millimetres there are in a centimetre. So I know if I've got this in millimetres and centimetres, there are 10 millimetres in a centimetre. So that means that I can still use my ones, tens and hundreds because it goes up the same way. So if I want to do 42... Milli 42, said 42 millimetres and what shall I add? What I 7 centimetres and 3 millimetres. Now the first thing, they're not in the same units and I'm going to choose for this one, it doesn't really matter, but I could either do, change it to these, so I could either do 
four centimeters and two millimeters just making sure they're in the same columns the numbers are in the same columns and add those together or I could change it into millimeters and do 42 millimeters add 73 millimeters still making sure that they're all in the right columns so here I've got my ones and tens and here this would be my ones and this would be my tens so let's have a look at that in picture form so in this first one I've got two ones two millimeters and four centimeters four tens of millimeters so one two three four second number I've got three millimeters three ones of millimeters two three and seven centimeters or seven tens of centimeters so one two three four five six seven there we go so here is this and I'm going to put my equals on again we're going to pretend I'm using a ruler but I am running out of hands at this point to hold on with so just like with normal column addition the first thing we do is add the millimeters add the ones which here are these ones of millimeters so add them together five that fits in there so I don't need to do anything else and can move it down to my answer five millimeters when I add the ones five ones of millimeters so I can put my five in there five millimeters here five ones of millimeters now I need to add my tens so if I try and squish those in there I'll leave it like this so we can count them on the screen but I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven tens okay eleven tens is a hundred and ten okay so I've got a hundred and ten millimeters or that's the same as eleven centimeters and zero more millimeters so here there is my tens and there's my hundreds. There is my 11 tens. Okay, so I've now got an extra hundreds column. Same here. I need an extra hundreds column to squeeze in. There is my tens and there is my hundreds. 11 tens of centimetres. Okay, so this is my 11 tens of centimetres. My units is already there because this is all in millimetres. So, now, I can't fit 11 in that box. I can only have up to 9. So, but, it's the same. I can still do this. 10 of these is the same as 100. So I'm going to take 10 of these. 2, 3, 4... Take 10 of my 11 and change it for 100, which, like I've done here, just goes underneath for me to be ready to count that. And this one can come into here, just like I've written here. So there is my 11 tens. And then I've got nothing there, nothing there, and one more. Nothing there, nothing there, and one. And nothing there, nothing there, and a one. So put that into there, because zero at zero add one, and zero at zero add one is a one. So four centimeters at two millimeters at seven centimeters, three millimeters is eleven centimeters, five millimeters, or one hundred and fifteen millimeters. Either one of those is fine. So as you can see, it can work exactly the same for that, which is really helpful for us. And that works for um, centimetres and metres as well. It's exactly the same. Don't need to worry about it. Okay, you can just put them into columns and as long as you've lined it all up, so 
So I'm just going to show you something when I get these down because we do need to remember that if I have a calculation that says something like 306 um, centimetres, add 360 centimetres, that that's the same as three metres and six centimetres, there's no tens, and six centimetres, so I'd have ones. Tens on this number is empty. If you want to, you could put a zero in for while you're doing the calculation. Hundreds. And then 360 centimetres is three metres, 60 centimetres. Okay. So you can see I've now got something in the tens. So while we're adding, you pop a zero in there, you won't forget about it. Okay. And then it works just the same. Six at zero is six. Six at zero is six. Zero tens of centimetres at six tens of centimetres is six tens. Again here, zero at six is six. And three metres at three metres is six metres. So six metres, remembering to put my units in, and 66 centimetres. Same with this one. 300 centimetres at 300 centimetres is 600 centimetres. And then I've done this one in centimetres, so remembering to put my unit back in. Okay. So have a go at today's questions, adding length. Okay, you might only have time to do the first question on the slide. That's absolutely fine. Just remember that total means add all the numbers up and then find the answer. Okay, well, I'll see you soon.